guys today i'm gonna be very excited to show it to you how to create a shimmering gold wedding slideshow inside after effects this is randy from Rans graphics welcome back to my after effects tutorial channel and before we will start inside after effects i will show you this Okay, let's start our tutorial. Go to composition, create a new composition, and I will name it placeholder one. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty p, thirty frames per second, ten seconds duration. Click OK, and I will open the assets folder. Open the image. Go to textures and images. Span it and drop it down to my timeline the animation go back to your project panel and highlight this one and drag it down to your timeline and open the photos go to the image one and drag it down to your timeline click s for the scale on your keyboard and shift p for the position and then create a keyframe and go to about eight seconds and highlight the image and right click your mouse transform and fit to comb click s on your keyboard for the scale disable the proportion and resize the frame then click p for the position just move it up a bit i think that should be good enough and then i will go to layer I will create a new solid, click OK. I will move this black solid just below the animation and then go to shape tool and double click it to create a mask. Expand the mask and click this inverted. Change the amount on your mask feather like this just to create a bit of a shadow. I think that should be good enough. I will just close this. And then I will go to composition again, create a new composition, and I will name it RJ Ornaments. Same, 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration, click OK. Then I will highlight this image and then drag it down to my timeline. And grab the text tool and I will type our happy moments. I'm using Rap Lanoc Future 100 pixels. Go to Windows and check the Align tool. So I will align it horizontally. Press P on my keyboard for the position and drag it up. Then I will duplicate this text and press P on my keyboard and move it down. And change the text. Happy moments. Still the same, wrap Lanoc Future and 100 pixels. I will just change the distance of the letters to zero. And also the hour, I will just change it to 100. Expand the happy moments and create a tracking animation. And change the tracking amount to about like this. I think 70 is good. Then create a keyframe here and go to about only 4 seconds and make it 0. 
also highlight this power layer expanded and animated go to tracking check it and create a keyframe here and move your player back to the beginning make the tracking amount to 70 so now when we play this one let's see nice so i will close all these ones and again i will create another new composition i will name it reflection and i will click ok drag this photo down go to transform and fit comp go to effects and preset color correction tint I want the amount 8 and then go to effects and preset and stylize motion tile I want the output width to about 200 check the mirror edges and create keyframe on the tile center and move your playhead at the end of your timeline and move your image like this I will go to composition, create new composition, I will name it flower ornaments. And I will click OK. I will drag this RJ ornaments on my timeline and also the reflection. If you can't see the track mat in here, just toggle the switches in here. I will change the track mat to alpha mat and highlight the reflection go to effects and preset distort find cc blob lies i will expand this blobiness change the blob layer to rj ornaments change the property to alpha and change the softness to about 10 cut away about 2 and go to effects and preset go to color correction I just want to make a color correction a bit and go to composition create a new composition and i will name it pg click ok i will go to my project panel and i will drag down the flower ornaments and i will open the project assets here open the folder footage i will drop down on my timeline the particle one and also the particle two i will highlight both of them i will change the blending mode to add and also I will right click my mouse on this particle tool and enable the time remapping I will extend this layer to the end of the timeline and also the keyframe I will also drop this element in here on my timeline and I will transform it to fit the comp and change the blending mode to add so now I will go again to composition and name it main And 20 by 1080p 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration and I will click OK I will drop down the placeholder one and the BG I will click S on the placeholder one resize it to about 70% and I will open the assets and open the folder footage and I will drop down this ink and I will highlight this placeholder too. If you can see the track mat in here, just toggle the switches mode here. Changes to Luma inverted mat. Create a new adjustment layer in here. Go to effects and preset. Color correction. Curves. Move this RGB up. Like this. And also highlight the ink. Right click your mouse. Go to time. Enable time remapping. I will extend the layer to the end of the timeline and also the keyframe so let's play this one oh 
Okay, nice. I like the ink and click T on my keyboard for the opacity. Move my playhead to about 7 seconds and create a keyframe and move to about 1 second ahead and make this 50%. So now I will go back to my project panel and close this ones. And I will create a new folder and I will name it scene 1. I will highlight these compositions and move it up to that folder. Again, I will create another folder and I will name it scene 2. I will open the scene 1 folder, highlight again the compositions, go to edit, duplicate it, move the duplicated compositions to the scene 2 folder. I will delete these ones because I'm not using it for now. I will double click these compositions to open it up. I will first delete this one because I don't need that one. Also the reflection because I don't change it. I will rearrange this. I will open the place to holder and delete the image here and go back to my project panel. I will close these ones, open the folder assets, go to image, expand the photo folder and drop down the image here, the second image. Open the RG ornaments and highlight these happy moments and double click it to change the text to journey starts. And then I will open these flower ornaments, click out and hold on my keyboard and I will change these RG ornaments to RJ ornaments too. Supposed to be I'm not changing this reflection but I have to replace it because in the future I might use it again and will tweak it so I'm guaranteed that I will not affect the scene 1 folder or the scene 1 compositions. So I have to replace the reflection to reflection 2. And then I will open the background or BG. I will highlight the flower ornaments and replace it with the flower ornaments too. And I will open the main two composition, highlight the BG and replace the BG to BG2. And also the placeholder one, highlight it to replace it with the placeholder two. And close it. I will again go to composition, create a new composition and I will name it main final. But this time I have to change this to 20 seconds. And I will click OK. And I will open the scene 1 folder and drag down in my timeline the main. And also I will open the main 2 folder. Highlight the main 2 composition. And I will move it down to my timeline. So I will just highlight this one and move forward my layer to the end of my timeline like that. And I will close these folders in here in my project panel. And open the assets folder. Go to footage. I will drop down the element in here. And uh, right click my mouse, transform it and fit to comp. Change the blending mode to add and duplicate it. Go to edit, duplicate it. I will move this up on the main and move forward this layer. Probably here and go to layer, transform and flip horizontal. So let's try to play it. Let's see. I will also go back to the BG1, open the scene 1 folder in BG. I will also move this one forward a bit. Go to layer, transform, flip horizontal. So now when we play this one again, let's see what happens. Yeah, this is what we want. 
so now guys we are done with our tutorial for today and i really thank you for subscribing my channel for those people who subscribe and for those who are new you are very welcome to subscribe my channel like comment and share if you can and thank you guys for supporting my channel i hope that you learned something on this tutorial and my thoughts for today is that motivation is a great asset in order to succeed so thank you guys for watching and see you next time god bless